We are following some breaking news right now. A major cleanup lies ahead at a Streeterville furniture store after a pickup truck plowed through the front entrance. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli is live at the scene. And Mike, this crash could have cost the driver his life. You're exactly right. It happened at around 3 o'clock this morning. The driver was coming the wrong way down Inner Lakeshore Drive, which you're looking at right here, right now. This is a one way heading north. The driver apparently didn't realize that, came down the street at a high rate of speed, got here to Ohio, was unable to negotiate this turn right here, jumped the curb right here, and then plowed right into the front of the court furniture rental store, which you're looking at right now. We want to roll some video right now so you can see how it looked when this pickup truck was inside this store, obviously doing a massive amount of damage inside the store and also an awful lot of damage to that truck. Now we want to take it back out here live right now to show you exactly what we're talking about, about how this driver is fortunate to have escaped with his life. Because right here you can see a large support column for the seven-story building. And to the right, another large support column. He threaded the needle, went right through the two columns. He also narrowly missed this large planter box right here, which obviously all three of these obstacles could have done tremendous damage, possibly killed this individual. I did talk to a person who actually witnessed the aftermath of the crash. He said the individual did appear to be intoxicated when he took off running down Ohio Street to escape the scene here. Now, just to give you an extent, a sense of the extent of the damage from inside right now, you're actually looking at the bumper of that pickup truck. It's sitting on top of that wood that you're looking at right now, and you can see, obviously, massive damage to this Streeterville store. Now, the vehicle had Indiana plates. That, obviously, will be a first lead for police to look into as they try and figure out exactly what went wrong here this morning at around 3 o'clock in Streeterville. Reporting live in Streeterville, Mike Puccinelli, CBS2 News. Aaron, Lionel. Incredible amount of damage there, Mike. Thank you.